になって終わりにしたいと思います。なので、最後まで一緒に楽しんでください。ぜひ参加してくださいね。それでは、最後に聞いてください。軍長あ,あいつものように過ぎる日々にあくびが出るさんざめく Excellent tiny pitch deviation at the bottom there love to hear it live 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 love that うこえきょうも渋谷の街に朝がふるどこかむなしいよなそんな気持ちつまらないなでもそれでうそんなもんさこれでいい「しらすしらす隠してけば本当の声を響かせてよ」「ほら未来ふりしてみても確かにそこにある」あ「ああ感じたままに描く自分で選んだその色で眠い空気まとう朝に訪れた」I'm really enjoying watching this. I've seen other videos of the singer and I've been very curious how she would sound in this situation、uh, live and audience. And just this is really interesting.、Um, she, sounds, she sounds so sweet. She sounds so youthful. She sounds like anime. She sounds like. If, if, if anime could be a voice, it would be her. Like, it's so youthful and playful and sweet. It's like ice cream and rainbows and bunnies. Like, but she's also a, a very, very functional singer who I believe is making real decisions as she's moving through melodies, register changes, and very, very clean and purposeful singer. Wonderful pitch. Even the teeny tiny deviations we're hearing, so reasonable, just, just enough to be human, and then the rest is just spot on. <laughs> I, w- I, I don't, she doesn't seem to do a whole lot of belting or yelling or mixing. And I think that's part of why she sounds so darn sweet. When those high notes come up, she says, La da 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 right instead of la da 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 it's that feels more like mature her her decision is always very like sweet sweet <laughs> And even though this isn't riffy, runny, busy, agility wise, the intervals between notes are complex enough that I am impressed with her accuracy. <laughs> See, ah, she instead of ah, instead of kind of compressing and yelling it, because it, because I believe she can, ah, she chooses ah, really sweet. Love when she does that. Love when she does that. Complex interval and changes registers back and forth inside. Thank you. 
Great, 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 great accuracy moving through those, through those intervals. So two things that I find interesting. One, hearing her live like this makes me realize that I kind of see why they over-edited her because she is very accurate. So it would be very, very easy to snap to grid because it's like very, very, very close, but it still will take that human element out of it when you snap it to grid. But she's very, very accurate um, through, the, through the things that I was most curious about. Uh, Second of all, it's really interesting reviewing this kind of singer because there is like a battle going on in my head and heart and inner musician. The reviewing singers like this who I've never heard before, I think, so another video I've seen of her where she, it was like a one take it, it, off the mic, just her in a room. And when you see a singer like that, you really have no inclination of how well loved they are or who their audience is or how big they are or whatever. You just, it's just me and the singer checking out the singer. So I have this weird thing when I see like, oh my God, there's, this is a huge audience. Like she's well loved. And then part of me is like, but there's not even any riffs and runs. Like there's not even any belting. There's not even any like part of me is like, how could, how could the singer be this big when it's just like this cutesy, cartoony, whatever. And then there's another part of me that's like, well, these intervals are complicated. Like these intervals, she's very accurate. And this cute tune, this cute tone, I should say, is something, right? It's appealing to these people. It doesn't matter if it, if it, if it appeals to me or if I grew up with this kind of sound. I, part of me can very much see why this is like cool and why she's cool and that she's talented. And then there's another part of me that's like, like what? It, like there's not a lot of like ugh, yeah, that's like a, that's a taste thing though it, totally totally but that's what I'm saying yeah. it's it's this it's this interesting like clash inside me where I'm like <laughs> holy yeah. holy moly yeah her songs are actually not easy to sing no no that's what I'm saying yeah quite hard those intervals are crazy yeah. and another thing I've observed in both of these the co chord changes yeah. in the track are bananas. Yeah. Bananas! Like I thought there was a fuck up the first yeah. the first time. Yeah, 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 I was like, yeah. oh, they met. It's a team. Uh, that guy is a really good songwriter. Oh my god, they're like Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but again, even even though my own taste is like, I don't know what to do with this. I can like I can see I can I can actually see how you you even someone like me by the end I'm like. Enjoy. That's good, yeah. Yeah, you can enjoy. Yeah. Singers, I have a question for you. 
Why do you love the artists you love? Is it their big, powerful voice with riffs and runs and high, high notes? Is it their songwriting, their lyrics? Or is it the vibe? Is it the beat? Or is it the literal tone of their voice, the sound of their vocal cords, the shape of the chamber? Is it their face, their style, their brand? It's very likely you ticked off several of these factors. Now, keep that in mind for yourself. Being an awesome artist isn't about being a perfect vocalist. It's about the whole package, if you will. It's not about perfection. It's about your you. -ness. So keep that in mind as you create your art.